four first responders, I, life wasn't bad. Um, it was, it was life. Uh, I will say I was existing. I gained weight early on in my career, about 15 pounds a year. Uh, I remember thinking that I am a recipe for disaster. We made a couple of fires and I got extremely tired halfway through and uh, my eyes were opened. If you don't have the energy to go do something, you're probably not gonna get your kids and go to the park or go water or go uh, ice skating or take them fishing. You're just not gonna do the active things that you wanna do because you don't feel good. Um, I wrestled in high school, I was a state champ. I'm, I got a little bit tired of wrestling. I said, I'm done with this and I joined the military. And the next thing you know, I'm on a military wrestling team. And then the next thing you know, I'm on the all military team. Then I got out of the military and I went to the Olympic Training Center. In my last few years, I wrestled 152 pounds. I wrestled 152 in 2011, I weighed 263 pounds. I remember sitting in church and looking down at my jeans thinking, the legs of these jeans are gigantic. Why are my legs so big? Um, I used to be in such good shape. And all these things just take a toll. My, my youngest, she's got cerebral palsy. She was born with a uh, virus. It's the cytomegalovirus. When she was born, we were told that uh, more than likely she ended up deaf, blind, and mentally uh, handicapped. You know, I look at her and uh, I look at how she doesn't complain. Uh, and that used to really, like when right before this program started, that was something that really kind of moved me is, like the girl is two and a half, three, and she falls eight or nine times a day on tile and concrete hitting her head. The things that, that you look at them and you're like, I need to take her to the hospital. And she never complains. She will cry for a second and not complain and want to go play some more. Um, that's tough. That's tough to me. And I think, how come I'm so weak if this two and a half year old kid so tough and she came from me? In my head, I, I just had this feeling that you are weak if you can't keep weight off. Um, people are looking at you saying, look what happened to McLennan, he got fat. And I felt, I just felt miserable when you're really kind of living in your head, trying to figure out how to do life. Uh, your attitude seems to suffer just a little bit. How could we let this happen? How did I let this happen to myself, knowing that my life depends on me being in shape? 58% of our on-the-job deaths are due to health problems and cardiac arrest and overexertion and overstress. I'm a firm believer that negativity breeds negativity and positive interaction will create more positive interaction, and I was part of the problem. But I've always had this feeling deep down inside that I have a whole lot more to offer than I'm actually given right now. All I'm doing is getting by. Since completing the 25 week challenge, I, uh, I'm doing better. We had a weekly uh, motivation every week, different theme, uh, and those all stuck. Some of them I would get my truck and write down so I wouldn't forget. Uh, know your what and why was one of my biggest ones. I was like, why am I here? And what am I, who am I? Uh, some days the only thing that brought me to the gym was the camaraderie of like-minded individuals. People like me that are going through the same thing as me. I got my results back. I lost 55, well, 54, 55 pounds. I lost 21% body fat. I lost 12 inches off my waist. I gained four to five pounds of muscle. My squat is phenomenal right now. I don't, I don't think, I, if you told me a year ago you're gonna squat 455 pounds for three reps again, I would have said no way. I took so much more mentally away from this, seeing the coaches who have a servant's heart are so positive all the time. And, it's just so contagious. I spent so much more time with my kids since this program started. I walked in tonight and they're so, so happy to see me because they know dad's gonna play with them now. Dad's gonna get in the floor. Dad's gonna go outside. Dad's going to the park. I've had multiple people come up and say, hey, what were you doing? Tell me more about this FFR deal. Somebody thought of something and they incorporated it. I did something with what they incorporated and had results. My results caused somebody else to do something that's gonna get results. It brought two departments together. I've never seen that before. TPD, IMSA, and FIRE always have called each other. This is my, that's my, they're brothers and sisters, um, and they are, but it wasn't a true family. After this program started, we'd show up on scene and we'd get excited to see FFR members. That's gonna improve life for the citizens of Tulsa. Um, it's something that I think we need to keep moving forward on. I think that uh, if we could get more involvement department-wide in this program, it would be gigantic. The main winner of this overall is going to be the city of Tulsa, the citizens, and the, and the city itself. 
I mean, we are able to do our jobs better than we were 25 weeks ago. This is the greatest thing to happen to the city of Tulsa since I've been there. If you look at these results, you'll never see anything like this in any other program. There's nothing like this around. This is where we need to be. I am Mike McClendon. I am fit for duty and I'm fit for life.